show you a couple of ideas about cutting gears out of plexiglass. I've done it using half inch, quarter inch material. They're quite attractive for different applications. These two gears are exactly the same form. I used Matthias's gear template generator to make the templates for these. You want to use a material that has a paper backing so that you can glue your pattern onto it. Oftentimes, instead of cutting the plexiglass, the saw blade will melt it and it'll reform or re weld itself behind the blade and it makes a real mess. You can generally tell that your saw blade is melting the plastic immediately when you quit getting any sort of chips coming up with the blade. I'm going to make a cut with this fine blade to demonstrate how the blade can melt the plastic instead of cutting it. You see there's very few chips coming out. And that piece has welded itself back together behind the blade. So that's not a good blade to use. The best blades I have for cutting plexiglass are the Polar Number 5 with 16 and a half teeth per inch and the Polar Number 7 with 14 teeth per inch you will not end up with a polished surface but it'll be very smooth and these gears are running right off the scroll saw table this is the polar number seven blade when we cut the plexiglass you'll see free flowing chips coming off the top that usually tells you you're getting a pretty good cut Nice clean cut, no melting. One thing you may find the hard way is that trying to cut a piece of this plexiglass without the backing sheets can be very difficult. The adhesive that's on the backing sheet actually helps lubricate the blade. Or you can take put some uh, packing tape on here and it'll make cutting it a lot easier as well. When I'm cutting these out, I'm aiming for saw blade right down the center of the line. So there'll be no line remaining on my pattern. That produces a fairly clean, shiny tooth. Now I'm going to cut the ends off of each tooth. End product is a pretty smooth, good looking gear. You can run that right off the table. Before I remove the backing sheet, I'm going to go in and file the corner of these teeth just to break that sharp edge so that it won't chip out later. Some of this backing material come off quite easy. Others, seems like this has been in a warehouse for a long time, it's been hot, that material is on there very tight. I soak it in kerosene or mineral spirits, then it comes off easily. Once the backing sheet is removed, you can see these gears are quite attractive. 